My name is Gary McFadden, like Ms. Judy said. Um, I have been a homicide detective for 30 years. This is my 35th year. I have uh, done so much work in this community that I have worked 835 murders. 835 murders. And they're doing so much that they're doing a story on my life. And when, and where I'm at, may not say where I'm at, but you know, I'm doing this story, they're filming this movie, and where I'm filming it at, it touches this family because it's out of family's business. And I hope she don't mind, but they're filming this at Angie's space, at Angie's spot. So when Angie comes in in the morning, she's upset. She tells us that something happened to her family member. While I'm there, I'm getting text messages from my two kids because they went to North Met. And all I hear is two names. And I'm sorry, but they say LB and Juice, and that's all they talked about. And I talked to my son, and I talked to my daughters, and I tried to get them to understand. But at some point, ladies and gentlemen, it takes us to change this. We need to look within our souls, we need to look in our hearts, and say well, conflict resolution, is anything worth this? Is it really worth this coming out, and we are being here, and they're, and they're gonna celebrate my legacy because I work murders. <laughs> And, you know, I, I left downtown where they were uh, filming. I went home, and I live up here in Huntersville. And my wife said, where are you going? I said, I'm going out in the Holbrook Park. They've never been to it. I live here for 12 years. Well, we don't supposed to be here for this. Honestly, I think we need to look at each other and talk to each other and think about this. We can't talk about nothing else going on with nobody else but what's going on in our house and our community. Because the world looks at us in a different way. Law enforcement looks at us in a different way. God knows I'm fighting for you, but sometimes, what can I say? What can I say? So I think that we need to wrap our arms around the family, pray for the family. But then if you know somebody's going through something, I think you need to talk to them and say, let's not settle it like this. Please don't settle it like this anymore. We have no, these lives are both destroyed, both families' lives destroyed. But we have to look in our hearts and say, what can we do differently? This is what can we do differently? Thank you. Thank you so much, Gary. Somebody was up here.